In this video, you will learn how to classify quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons with four sides. The word part quad means four. So quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. These are all different types of quadrilaterals. So the first one we will talk about is a trapezoid. If there are, there's one pair of parallel sides, so this side and this side are parallel, they run in the same direction without ever touching. If there's one pair of parallel sides, we call it a trapezoid. Notice how if you extend these sides, they will eventually touch. So these sides are not parallel. So there is only one pair, a pair is two, one pair of parallel sides. That would be a trapezoid. If there are two pairs of parallel sides, See how this side is parallel to this side. They run in the same direction without ever touching. And this side is parallel to that side. The opposite sides are parallel. That means there are two pairs of parallel sides. We call that a parallelogram. So if a quadrilateral has only one pair of parallel sides, it's a trapezoid. If it has two pairs, it's a parallelogram. And as we go down, the quadrilaterals get even more special. So if there are two pairs of parallel sides and all of the sides are the same length, we call it a rhombus. So this side is parallel to that side. This side is parallel to that side. And all of the sides are equal. It's a rhombus. If it has two pairs of parallel sides, the opposite sides are the same length, this side is the same length as this side, and this side is the same length as that side. And there are four right angles. We call that a rectangle. And now a square is this most special kind of quadrilateral. It has the two pairs of parallel sides, just like a parallelogram, a rhombus, and a rectangle. It has four right angles, just like a rectangle. And it has the four equal sides like a rhombus. So if you put all of these together, you would get a square. Now let's practice classifying quadrilaterals. Here we have the chart that shows quadrilaterals and the different kinds and all of their characteristics. So we will use this to help us classify the given shape. So if you take a look at this given shape, the first thing we want to ask ourselves is there one pair of parallel sides or two pairs? So we'll take a look at the sides and I'll mark those with highlighter. So this side right here is parallel to this side because they go in the same direction. If you extend those lines, they will never touch. Those are parallel. However, these lines, if you extend them, they eventually will touch. So there is only one pair of parallel sides. So the only word that would describe this shape is trapezoid. Let's try another. The first thing we look for are parallel sides. So this side is parallel to this side, so that would be one set. This side is parallel to this side. So we have two sets of parallel lines, so it is a parallelogram. Let's move down to see if it is any other quadrilateral. If it's a rhombus, it's going to have four equal sides, but this shape has opposite sides that are equal. So this side is equal to that, and this side is equal to that, but all four are not equal, so it is not a rhombus. Let's look for rectangle. Rectangle has four right angles, and if we take a look at these angles, they are not right angles, so it is not a rectangle. And since it's not a rhombus and rectangle, it also can't be a square. So we can say that this shape is a parallelogram. Let's try another one. So we're looking at parallel sides and we see that this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side. So we have a parallelogram. We're gonna move down to see if we have a rhombus. A rhombus has four equal sides and this shape does have one, two, three, four sides that are all equal length. So it is also a rhombus. Let's look at rectangle. Rectangle has four right angles, which this shape does. So it is a rectangle as well. And when we want to look for square, square has four right angles, which it does. It has all four sides equal length, which it does. 
and the two pairs of parallel lines. So it is also a square. So this shape is a parallelogram, a rhombus, a rectangle, and a square. One more practice. We have to look for our parallel sides first. So we see that this side runs the same way as this side. They will never touch. So that's one set. This side runs the same as this side. So it is two sets. So we have a parallelogram. We'll look for four equal sides. With This shape does have one, two, three, four sides that are all equal length. So it is a rhombus. For a rectangle, we're going to look for right angles. This shape does not have right angles, so it is not a rectangle, and it is also not a square then. So we can use parallelogram and rhombus to describe this shape. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped. Check out my Teaching Exchange Classroom for worksheets and centers, and download the Grade 3 Geometry Task Cards for more practice with this concept.